There was a time where computers smarter than humans were nothing more than science fiction. But everything changed with one particular event. One human and one computer fighting for intellectual dominance. Hello, Storyticians. Today we are going to share with you a story that opened our eyes to a world of possibilities. Some of which are exciting, while others are terrifying. See, not long ago, computers could do little more than some basic calculations. Most grandparents today would tell you that they were nothing more than a simple tool. Sure, they could work tirelessly, but they weren't even close to the capabilities of humans. However, there was a group of people working in IBM that didn't think the same way. It all started at Carnegie Mellon University when Fen Swing Su, Thomas Anthraman, and Murray Campbell started a project called Chip Test. It was 1995, and the idea was to build the best chess playing computer ever. With their ups and downs, they managed to make the project work. It took them years, but they were able to develop a functional system that even won the World Computer Chess Championship in 1989. Did you know there is a World Chess Championship for computers? Because we sure didn't. Anyway, the project was far from perfect. Yes, it had tremendous potential, and it had won against other computers, but computerized systems were not the golden standard at the time. If you wanted to prove your program could play chess well, it had to fight against real chess players. It had to be able to compete against the best, the chess grandmasters that ruled the field. That was the real goal. The ultimate test for chip test was to beat no one else but the reigning chess champion. Only beating the best human would prove what computers were capable of. After they graduated from their university, chip test developers were offered to continue their project with IBM Research. The team worked tirelessly every day to improve its system. They soon created a better version of itself, which they called Deep Thought. Deep Thought was fed with the best information and algorithms from computer and chess experts alike. They designed, built, and fine-tuned the perfect hardware for the best chess computer. Soon, Deep Thought was destroying the competition. It won several computer championships, and it had one of the top ELOs at the time. The computer was able to examine half a billion positions for a single chess move. The project kept evolving, and Deep Thought eventually evolved to Deep Blue, the computer thought to be destined to dethrone the reigning world champion of chess, Garry Kasparov. Finally, the time came after years upon years of work, programming, learning, teaching, playing chess, and improving. It was time for the ultimate test. The world champion of chess was invited to play against yet another computer that threatened his throne, and the whole perception around what computers could do. Garry Kasparov wasn't only the champion, he was a symbol. He was the best humanity had to offer in a game that was long considered too complex for computers to compete. On the other hand, Deep Blue was a serious contender. Even though it didn't use past experiences to play and had no human intuition to work with, it used brute force to analyze lots of possibilities. Deep Blue was capable of processing 100 million moves every second. The clash between these two powers would be remembered for decades. The match consisted of six games, the first of which was played on the 10th of February, 1996. Deep Blue immediately shattered most expectations and won the game. This was the first time a computer won against the reigning world champion. Gary couldn't believe it. He had won against several computers in the past, and this one should be the same. Making justice to his reputation, he went on to win three of the following games and drawing in the other two. Computer scientists were stopped in their tracks. The team had to make a choice, one that touched their core beliefs in their work. Should they continue or just accept that computers might never beat humans at chess? It was a hard hit, but the race was on. The team regrouped and started working on improvements for Deep Blue right away. No world champion could handle the next step in artificial intelligence, not even the mighty Garry Kasparov. One year later, Deep Blue and its team were back, face to face with arguably the best chess player of all time. In May 1997, the six game rematch was on. Kasparov opened the first game with the King's Indian attack, a tight match that he was able to win after 45 moves. The second game saw Rudy Lopez opening. Deep Blue won it while Kasparov resigned and claimed that IBM was cheating and that a human had to be playing behind some of Deep Blue's moves. There was no proof of that claim and the match went on. For the third game, Kasparov decided to use an infrequent opening in the hopes to give Deep Blue a game it wasn't prepared for. Although it was an interesting and unique anti-counter tactic, Deep Blue managed to draw Kasparov. Four days after starting the match, both Deep Blue and Kasparov had a win and a draw. 
They were not only playing for themselves, each of them represented either the artificial intelligence revolution or the long-standing reign of human intellectual superiority. The fourth game started. Kasparov played a Karo Khan defense, which seemed to give him the edge, but he was not able to finish Deep Blue off, and the game ended in yet another draw. The fifth game saw another King Indian's attack, and superiority was felt again for Kasparov, but Deep Blue was able to manage a draw. They were still tied. More than a week after the match, it was the last game that would decide it all. Kasparov once again played the Karo Khan defense. Trying to anticipate what the computer would value most, the reigning world champion decided to play a dubious opening to put Deep Blue in trouble. This was the deciding moment. IBM's computer played a night sacrifice that destroyed Garry Kasparov's defense so harshly that he resigned just 20 moves into the game. That was the end of it. Or I guess you could call it the beginning. For some, what happened that day was tragic. It meant that computers could learn to beat the best humans at complex tasks. For others, this was the beginning of a dreamful future. No matter what side you were on, nothing would ever be the same. What side are you on? Is artificial intelligence an exciting part of our future or a terrifying one? Let us know in the comments section. If you watch stories as fast as Deep Blue calculated chess moves, you are probably looking for another one right now. Go ahead and click here to meet the man who tried to fly with 45 balloons and a chair. True short story. Otherwise, do not hesitate to become a storytician by subscribing to this channel. Now, go and experience the most fulfilling of all stories, the story of your life. See you next time.